exercise 3b. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the functionality inside via CAD version 8 when trying to create a drawing. So as you can see here, there's um, we have a very basic drawing of this um, ratchet body head that was created in exercise 3. And I just uh, threw it together so we could uh, see a preview here. So let's begin. First of all, turn off some of these things. Bring back the solid. And I'm going to hide my drawing. Okay. And we'll just start a new drawing. So, again, here's the ratchet body that was created inside via cat earlier. And so, to do this, just go down here to Model to Sheet. Select the model. And in this case, a one-to-one -one scale is going to work really well just because it's rather it's a small ratchet body head. We'll keep it with polylines and be uh, visible and ignore. Okay. And right away we get to see our project. Okay, some of the things that uh, we might want to do here is, uh, first of all, we might want to add a section of this view right here. We can select the view, and you can see we get the view border. Once you've got that, go down here and go to the section view tool. Now to grab the section view, just find the center origin here. And just click and drag off to the right. And click to drop it. Now some of the settings in there, I'm going to go to select here and I'll take a look at um, adjusting this. So you can see the um, these lines here came in as yellow. That's the section view lines. So if we click on that, we can actually adjust that. If we go to color here, we can go to the uh, different color. I'll go with green. And then also there's some options here. Uh, the spacing, for example. Set it to 0.125 and apply. Oops. Actually, let me uh, reset that to the green. Estimate that. Just hit enter. Okay, apparently the color fill properties don't work there. So over here where we have the color, go ahead and just change it to green. There we go. Okay, now the next thing we might want to do is we might want to actually add another. Hold on a second. Point oh six. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a detail view. So you click on this little arrow down here and you'll find the detail view tool. Now with detail view, so it creates a section D and scale factor of two. And we're just going to click on this view here. And actually, be careful because as you can see here, we actually have the wrong view selected. So I'm going to go back to select. Make sure you select the view in advance. Now we can go ahead and click on that. And then select the region where you want to add the detail view. Like right here. Just click and drag it out and drop it down below here. Okay, now for some of the additional features you might want to add. For example, if we go over here to the dimension tools, you'll see that you have the Right here we have the uh, center marks, center dimensions, and click on the center mark tool. Again, we got to make sure, sure we pre select the view, and I'm neglecting to do that. You can just select the edges of the model. Now they come up, and it's a little bit on the large side. We could make that a little smaller, put 1. 0.125. Do the same for this edge here. Now we also have the ability to um, Add some to this view, like some center lines or center marks in there. So we're going to go back to this tool here and find this one right here, center line bisector, and just select these edges. And there we go. Let's add some dimensions now. Now, for the dimensions, we'll go over here. Just use the dimension tool 
there's the smart dimensions, which isn't always as smart as you'd like it to be. Um, we'll first add a vertical dimension between both these centers. Okay, don't worry, we'll be able to move it out just a little bit here. We can actually drag it out if we want. Drag it the opposite way if we prefer. Now, you'll notice, actually let's go back to select here, you'll notice that the arrows are on the outside. And to fix that, you could go down to here and there's some options. First of all, if you want trailing zeros, maybe you want to see the trailing zero, you can check that on. And then also for the uh, value of the arrows here, the arrow leader, let's change it to 0.25. Now you can see it actually moves inward. Let's go ahead and add some more dimensions. Click over here and you'll find the radial out dimension. Now in this case it's going to a diameter out dimension for these circles in the center. That would work really well. We can just click on the edge. And then there's some other options for inside radius. Outside. Let's go with the outside. Let's select this edge here. And this one down here. Now uh, we could add some dimensions either to this view or actually the detail view. Let's go to the detail view and add some dimensions there. Again, we could go with the radius tool. And in this case, it's not liking that because it's um, a radius on top of an angle. So fortunately, we can't get that on that particular edge. We can find another edge, though, I'm sure, to get that on. But in the meantime, let's go back to the horizontal dimension. And we just want a dimension between these two points here. might want to make a little more room for this dimension. Let's drag it up and drag it to the right. And again, if you wanted to see the trailing zeros, you go over here to Tolerance on the Inspector and the Trail. Could also add an angled dimension. Down here. Here's the angle dimension tool. Let's select and hopefully since this is a diamond, oops, let's click on that view. Select this edge here, this edge, and we get our seven degree dimension. Let's drag that out. Now, sometimes some weird things like this happen. Let's just see how far it moved out. Let's try and drag that out. Now, to fix that, um, I may have to expand the view a bit. Alright, and then we'll add a dimension on this view here, just select the view, and we'll add a vertical dimension. Drag it up, and again, trailing zeros if you like. Now if you're wondering, if, if you didn't watch the other videos, um, I'll show you how to get to this the inspector tool. Inspector tool is just up in window. You can check on Inspector and Concept Explorer. Okay, and so if we go to the value, again the extension for the arrow leaders, let's change it to 0.25. And you can basically keep continuing dimension and up and down that, adding to it. Now, also, the, um, for example, your name that often comes up, you could double click on that, and up here you could adjust the text. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and call it Exercise 3D. And then over on the uh, hit enter for it to update. And then if you want over here, text, you can actually go to the font here and choose from any font that you might like. In this case, I'm going to just go with um, find a normal book. Okay. 
done with the project, you can double click on that. Just call this the ratchet head. Hit enter. So it updates. You can turn off the style. You can make it um, smaller if you like. You can make ten points. You can italicize. In the description, we'll go ahead and put down this is a drop forge. We can also change the colors there. So if you want, change it to red. Okay, some other things you, uh, you could add here. You'll notice um, these are all layers. You can add additional layers by selecting, if you have the Concept Explorer up, again, Concept Explorer is through Window, Concept Explorer. And you can add additional, create new layer. And if you want, you could adjust the colors of whatever is going to be on that layer. And then you can also display menu and change the name. Now let's say I went to magenta here. If I were to go ahead and add any additional features, for example, um, I don't really, uh, let's say I wanted to add a note. I can go to note here and click. Of course, my note is very large. Let's make this look much smaller. Now what I neglected to do there actually was over here I want to turn the little pencil on there so that's the layer that I'm on but I didn't do that. So what I could do over here is we, should, we do have the option to put it on a different layer. Over here it says drawing 2. Let's put it on layer 2. And it adopts the color. And then let's just drag that down here. And if we ever needed to, we could hide that. So layers are very nice. You could use those and drop other things in layers. You could select the dimensions and specify what layer those dimensions are supposed to be on. Things like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save this. And if you ever wanted to bring back your solid model to look at it, you just turn on the layer. So for example, layer 1, there's our solid model. Now you'll notice when you rotate, it's a little slow and the images go away. Now for some reason you wanted to show those images while you're rotating. I don't recommend this usually, but it does make, uh, I, this is how I actually make my little uh, video title screens. So what I do, I'm going to go back to view, let you go back to top, go and return. You can actually flatten these views and they look a lot better. You don't usually want to do this though. It's not reversible as far as I can tell. But um, if you right click and you click on flatten, actually, let's see if we could control select multiple views. No. Again, I don't usually recommend this, but it, is, it looks pretty nice once it's done. And you have the model up there, and you can actually rotate and see the views then. But it's all, I mean, the dimensions are still intelligent, but the geometry actually it looks like they've improved it over the years there. Those uh, geometric entities still, so just be careful with that though. So that concludes exercise 3B.